Okay, I wonder how many of you have actually thought about this. Now, um, there's actually nothing in my box. It's in my trusty old clicker, which lets me do stuff like this. So did you ever wonder why some people call their remote a clicker? You know, especially when they're looking in the sofa cushions trying to find the thing. Well, it's because early remotes did actually click. And here's the reason why. If you look in the business end of it, you can see there are some metal tubes in there. And these uh, switches on top, they actually move a hammer that hits the tube and it emits a really high pitched musical note. You and I can't hear it, but the TV can. It has a sensor and uh, it knows to change the channel or turn the TV on and off depending on whichever button you hit. It's actually not that bad an idea if you think about it. I mean, these things came out in the 60s. Uh, it's wireless, there's no battery in it to wear out. And you know, this thing is you know, 40, 50 years old and it still works. Although uh, I can only imagine if you had a DVD player, I think the remote would be like the size of a coffee table. Okay, back up to you guys. Well, actually, my father referred to all remotes as Space Command, which I realize how weird that must sound. But when he came to this country, Zenith was selling these remotes, and it was a new thing. Their marketing term for it was Space Command. So my father, when he was looking for the remote, he'd kind of wander around the house with the unmistakable clicker gesture and just mutter Space Command over and over. But that's life in our house.